good gentles, before we bring this night to a close, what say we have a rousing round of cheers for our dear pirate of the Shire, Owen O'Malley! If you ever decide to marry your majesty, I'm in there. Uh, <laughs> Didn't lie! <laughs> Gentles, this truly has been an absolutely wonderful day of festivity for not only all of you, but all of us as well. You know, this day, I, I received a few warnings at the start of the day. People said to me, Queen Elizabeth, you best be careful. There are pirates about the Shire. Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth, you best be on your lookout. They're going to want your jewelry. Queen Elizabeth, the pirates are here. We hear they like your booty. <laughs> It's good to be queen. <laughs> but, my dear gentles, I chose not to listen to these warnings, for it is my role as your queen to have faith in my people, to put trust in them. For I wish to come amongst you all on each and every progress as often as I can, not to the chagrin sometimes of my dear council, but I believe in the spirit of England, and the trust that I placed in you all this day was well rewarded. For you overwhelmed me with your spirit this day, with your smiles, with your heartiness. Yeah. I realized that today was not just a day about pirates, but a day about merriment, and that spirit of adventure, and that willingness to just play. Know you that at our tea this day, we celebrated two birthdays, and we recognized four generations of one family at our tea. The dear old rich clan was with us this day. <laughs> to celebrate amongst all of us that wondrous breed of family. And on this day that we were greeted by so many young children and had a wondrous time with all of them, we were, we were overwhelmed as we come up the chute at Joust by your willingness to but let us have your hand. For it is our choice to come to you. For without our people, I am not a queen. I am simply a crown and a role. And know you that there is one thing that seems to bind us together these days, and it be of a bit of an unfortunate nature, and it is a concern for our own monies. For I know that my father, King Henry, left me not much of a budget to deal with, and I hear that outside the gates of the Shire there is much that seems to worry us about what goes in and out of our wallets these days. We worry about our future. Who doth not? Even a queen worries about it. But what you reminded us today is that when you come through those gates, when we get to come here on progress, we are able for but that short period of time to put aside those worries, to remember that no matter what the scope of things may be in a financial world, that here at the Shire of Mount Hope, the scope of things is always very bright. And the pirates that were about, it was your arrows and your smiles that kept our spirits high. And for those who were only about to enjoy the merriment of pirates, your love is there too. For we all come together here to put aside the worries of what lies beyond those gates. For we know we shall return to them. But while we are here, we are all above the spirit of adventure. So I wish to thank you all for reminding us that there is more to life than worry. It is all about having fun, having a glorious, glorious time with friends, and finding the adventure within yourself. Thank you all. God save the Queen! And I love all of you. So before we go on our way and have to go back out those gates again, let us raise our voices together, singing. Farewell, my friends, I'm bound for Canaan. Say it with me. 